What is happening everybody? Josh here from Spawn Fly Fish. Today we're here to tell you, you need to change the way you tie egg sucking leeches. Today you're going to see just how to do it. All right, in the vise, we have an Arex FW555 size number eight. And we have a hairline Insta Jig head 3 sixteenths. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to lock this baby into place and we will do that with some lead free wire wraps. Quick little pinch there with the nail. Curve that over. If you have your rounded scissors, this is a good time for those. If you don't, the fingernail will do just fine. We're going to lock that into place here. It's not going to be totally secure yet until we add the thread, but you'll get the gist here in a second. So, we got some Danville 210. We're just going to lay a couple wraps down, trim off that tag end, and then work 45s. 45s. That was a little bit longer than a 45. And then come through straight over the top. Really lock that into place. Sweet. So far, so good. All right. This next combination of elements is really what brings this fly to life. And I'm convinced that this, these products itself should be far, far more popular than they are already. So we have a spawn polywog tail in black. We have half of it. So you can use more than half, you can use less than half, but what we really want is the length of this hook shank for this pattern. So we are going to just tie that in just like so at the rear portion of that hook just before it cur curves back. These things are absolutely phenomenal. They wiggle all over the place. They're easy to use. It's actually crazy to me that we aren't selling hundreds and hundreds of these every single day. It's a phenomenal spawn product. And what we're going to couple it with is another spawn product, fresh out the press, but not a completely new product itself. And if we can, we're going to do a little loop here. There we go. This is some spawn semi seal. Abyss. So you're going to see this here in a second. Look at this stuff. This is an all black semi seal. Heavily, heavily requested. This is going to bring patterns like this, the egg sucking leech, to new heights. I truly, truly believe it. Actually, I know it, but I'm sending the belief your way. So I got a Schmain dubbing twister. If you guys have followed the channel, you've seen that I've been really upgrading my tools lately. So pretty exciting in that regard. Um, and I'm going to just throw some abyss dubbing in here. I got some pre-staged out sections here just to make sure I get enough um, to really bring this pattern to life. And we are almost done here. I really like this feature on this. Just open and close, and we will start spinning this up. I got the heavy one. The heavy Schmain dubbing twister. Sorry, the hand might be in the way there. Oh, almost jumped out on me. Come in here and pick this out now if you want. Do it afterwards. I'm just going to do it right now so it looks good for you guys. Back home. And the combination of the spawn semi seal with these polywalk tails is just simply deadly. All right, we're gonna start using the rotary function on the vise here and just working that semi seal up. And maintaining our thread here at the top. Trying to not overlap these wraps. If you do, it's okay. You can pick that out at the end. Doesn't look super pretty at this point, but I can assure you it will. Alrighty, we're gonna do one wrap over the top. Oops, lock it into place. Alrighty, let's see how this is panning out so far. So far, so good. This is a super simple little pattern. It's really, really easy to tie. I'm going to brush this out. 
but it's the elements that make this fly. This isn't a this isn't a crazy new pattern that is going to uh, change the way you think. You already know this pattern, but it's the materials that are going to change this fly for you. So we got spawn polywagtail off the back. These things are epic. And we got the spawn semi seal throughout the entire body of this fly. So really, really nice elements. And all we're going to do here, tighten this down. Yeah, you could throw a little clump and dump in there, but I'm not going to. It looks pretty good for me. This is an egg sucking leech pattern that is just going to simply catch fish after fish. So got one whip finish in there. We'll throw another one in there. It's fine if these are messy. Totally fine. Let's see if it doesn't look crazy messy on your side. We're gonna come in with some head cement and this thing is good to go. Quick, easy fly. Again, it's the materials that make the difference in this. So Get yourself some of these materials and you will surely find the same exact success that we find here. This is going to work for all sorts of patterns. You can do it in any color you'd like, but this little leech pattern, especially in that classic egg sucking black through the body, hot orange spot on the front, is just going to simply get it done time after time. Hope you guys like this. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Go pick yourself up some polywogtails, some spawn semi-seal abyss, and get out on the water.